Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, let us see how to get into the VLSI career. There are huge opportunities in VLSI. Being an electronics engineer, how to start the career in core domain? The career opportunities for engineering graduates are huge. Many of the engineering graduates being in circuit domain, after their graduation, they get into the software engineer or test engineer role. They forgot hardware engineer, embedded design engineer, automation engineer, application engineer, verification engineer, many of these related to an electronics. So why VLSI career? There are huge opportunities in VLSI career nowadays. Why? Because the world is full of electronic devices. In day to day life, we will be using semiconductor device in one or the other way. Even in our mobile phones, starting from there till the computer or the supercomputers, what we say, we will be having a semiconductor IC inside that. So then also it is a high paying industry. Compared to software engineer, a VLSI engineer will be taking more salary nowadays compared to other sectors. And also VLSI professionals are always in high demand. And demand of electronics in automobiles and other industries and coming to artificial intelligence and machine learning concepts nowadays a huge requirement for the ICs in the industries. So our central government also put more effort on bringing the semiconductor fabrication as well as manufacturing units in India. And also you can see PM explains why India is attractive investment choice for a semiconductor technology. So this is the right time to get into the VLSI career and India's high stakes bit to join the global semiconductor race. So other than this, you can see the automation in nowadays in the automobiles. So huge electronic cars, electronic vehicles are coming to picture in future days. So again, demand of ICs is huge. And also in industrial automation also requires more electronics to get into. So this is the right time to get into the electronics industry as a VLSI engineer or embedded engineer. How to develop skills in BE or BTEC itself? So you need to concentrate more on these subjects, starting with basic electronics, basic electrical, then in your second year digital electronics, Verilog HDL, and then coming to CMOS VLSI design and system Verilog is required if you, if you are choosing a verification domain in VLSI. With this embedded system, and other related subjects related to the circuit design and all also required and you need to develop these skills in your graduation. And what else we can do to start a career in VLSI? As I said, concentrate more on VLSI subjects. You can take NPTEL courses related to VLSI. There are few NPTEL courses I am going to give you at the end of this video so that you can get into those courses and get certified. It is free also. And you can also do projects on VLSI. Anyhow, mini project and major project you are going to carry in your academics that you can also do on VLSI. And nowadays internships are also available in the industry on VLSI. You can get into those internships to get the industry knowledge and industry what the technology they are adopting. And it is easy to get into the industry if you do the internship. And also follow the technological advancements in the VLSI industry by attending many webinars and attend conferences like that and follow the job openings in company website and also it is very very important nowadays for any graduate to be in a LinkedIn open your LinkedIn account today and start connecting with the company people you can also discuss with them whenever it is required and also other job portals are there you can just see a VLSI opportunities in the job portal, it is huge. And major domains in VLSI. There are two major domains. One is front end, another one is back end. In front end, it is RTL design engineer, design verification, FPGA engineer, DFT engineer, or comes in front end. Means here is most of the thing is a software engineer, how it, it codes for the design. Similarly here, we are going to code using Verilog, system Verilog, like that. For the RTL designer role, you can learn Verilog and for the verification and also for the FPGA designer role, you can learn Verilog and system Verilog and UVM concepts. For back-end designer to become a layout engineer or moving 
to the physical design where less coding effort is required so you can get into the layout and physical design and circuit design part also this is what the front end as well as the back end two major categories in vlsi and then we can see many vlsi companies there are two types here also as we see in software industry one is product based and another one is service based there are few product based companies here like broadcom samsung nvidia intel texas amd these are the product companies where they are going to hire the graduates from iits usually but you are more capable of compete with those graduates you can easily get into the product companies also and there are many service based companies there are huge number of service based companies nowadays in vlsi also there are many startups what i suggest is that even if you didn't get into the product company at the starting it is very good to start with the service based company to get started with vlsi career and this is the right time to get into core companies but how to get the knowledge is it our academics is sufficient it is not so sufficient you can also learn from the nptel courses as i said you can see many of the nits and iits are going to conduct these courses it is more suitable for the industry perspective and also you can go to this verification guide.com for system verilog uvm system c and also interview questions and quizzes you can take from the verification guide and also you can go to the chipverify.com there are many websites like this i have just listed out two three here and coming to the nptel course you can take this hardware modeling using verilog course by professor indranil sen gupta of iit karakpur it is very good and also you can take system design through verilog uh, it is also a professor shaikh sharif ahmed from iit guwahati and many other courses also related to vlsi you can see in nptel or swayam portal and you can take those courses other than these you can also learn from my playlist that is vlsi design and verilog htl and also many other training institutes give you the training on vlsi technologies you can also take that for better understanding thank you for watching this video please subscribe to this channel for more such videos